Otangelo, what you got for us today? What script are you going to read for us? Yes, hello, guys. Thank you for taking my call. Uh -huh. Okay, here is my um, argument and my syllogism. One, DNA is a molecule that stores assembly information to make proteins, which are molecular. I disagree. I disagree with it already. I disagree with it already. Yes, disagree with this one. Yes, can I make. Otangelo, Otangelo, Otangelo. Otangelo, 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 my friend. No, dude. No, we're going to stop. We're going to stop you, premise one. I've because listened to so many calls by Atangelo, and you just go into this tirade, and and you think if you can just say it faster, that somehow it's going to work, bro. Right. So stop. your your problem with your first your first premise is the use of the word information. And DNA does not store information. DNA is a chemical that other chemicals interact with. The 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 word information. Is 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 simply something that we use as a mental model for how that happens, and it does not mean the same thing as information that you and I use. For instance, a map is information on how to get from point A to point B. So, if you're that's my my entire objection to the word use of the word information. DNA is a chemical. Yes, it's a chemical that other chemicals interact with. Yes, but there is no data and there is no information involved. It's just chemicals. You are unmuted now, Atangelo. What is your response to Jim's very specific response to your claim? Otangelo. Information. Oh. Uh, you're cutting in and out, and we're getting mostly silence on your end, Atangelo. I'm sorry. Try again, please. Okay, okay I'll try again. I disagree with James' claim. I, 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 it is known that DNA stores instructional assembly information, which is through the... No. Sequence. So, you're, 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 again, my, my objection, my, oh, Tangelo... You're interrupting me. Why can I not finish? Go ahead and mute Because I'm again. interrupting you at the point where I have a disagreement so that we can talk about the specific disagreement, oh, Tangelo. So... Um, specifically, information is defined as facts provided or learned about something or someone. The second definition is what is conveyed or represented by a typical arrangement or sequence of things. And if you mean information is that second one, then you are correct. But I don't think you do. I think you're thinking that it's facts provided or learned about something. In other words, facts about how to, how to build a human being, and that is not correct. It is simply an arrangement of chemicals. So what? Okay, so what is the function of DNA? It's a chemical that other chemicals react with that eventually build cells and animals and plants. Okay, so it builds cells. So it, it instructs the assembly of proteins and in the, it instructs to, to the sequence of nucleotides, the correct okay. sequence. Okay, so of when, you, when you say instructs, what exactly do you mean by the word instructs? That the sequence of nucleotides says how the sequence of amino acids will be um, uh, assembled. The, 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 the sequence of amino acids. So, how, so, so let me go back again. I'm sorry. You say that it says how to do something. How does it say how to do something? What, what's because when you say we were to say that usually means there's information being transmitted. How is that? How is that being transmitted? Well, um, do you uh, well through the um, um, uh, tra transcription to a messenger RNA, and then the translation through the ribosome, which then makes the polymerization of the amino acids, which then become amino, uh, which then become proteins. It's chemicals doing chemical stuff. Yes. Yes. There's no information. There's no. There, there, there's no facts being stored. It's simply chemicals being stored. Uh, chemicals uh, that other chemicals interact with. I agree with that. I skipped as many science classes as I could in high school, so I think um, this is the the limit where I can participate. Okay. But yeah. Chemicals doing chemical stuff. I'm with you. I'm with you. Okay. Right. Okay. So how does that prove that? The, how, how does that prove your point that there's a God? Well, again, the sequence of nucleotides must be right in order to have a functional sequence of amino acids, which then will 
uh, fold into 3D form and become functional molecular machines, which are proteins. That sequence has to be right. And in order for you to have it right, you need the information, which is, which is the sequence of nucleotides stored in DNA. No, I mean, so that does not prove a God. That only proves that if the DNA worked differently or the, the chemicals in, the, in DNA were different, that we would be formed differently. Does not prove a God. Well, it would not form a functional proteins. That is the key issue. It would, right. It would perform different proteins that would do different things and we would have, and if there was life at all, it would be different. That's all you get out of that is if things were different, things would be different. That does not prove God. Right. Well, the thing is that the sequence space is huge. In order to have a functional sequence, you have to choose amongst many possible different sequences. And just to give you so what? an example. You know, Are you counting the hits and ignoring the misses then? No, yeah, I, 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 I don't see what that point is, uh, Tangela. Well, wait, I, well, if I can finish my sentence, then you'll mm -hmm. make know what my point is okay so uh, if you you have an alternative to informate to in intelligence sequencing the right sequence and that would be random unguided events just to give you an example an average sized protein has about 300 amino acids to have a, a right sequence just of a third about a hundred amino acids the odds are one to ten to the one hundred and fifty. Okay, so I can, I can stop you right there, okay, Angelo. I don't care what the odds are because the odds of it happening are one because they did. In order to prove what the odds are against, you need to know what the entire field is. But that still doesn't prove just because the odds are against something happening and it does happen. That does not prove that somebody was behind the event, the highly unlikely event right? It doesn't prove anything other than the event happened. So what? How does the odds being against it prove anything? Well, you have two options. Either it was intelligence that was involved to assemble the right sequence or random unguided events. If the no, 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 no. Those are not the only two options. Because you know what the other option is? That it's not random. Tell me. It's not random. It doesn't have to be random. Chemi ch chemicals, ch chemicals doing what chemicals do is not random. What chemicals do is based on the, the laws of chemistry. Now, the laws of chemistry happen to be based on the laws of physics, and the laws of physics happen to be based on the uh, on uh, quantum or the logic of quantum, the uh, quantum mechanics. So everything comes down to quantum mechanics. None of that is random. So well, so what? If it wouldn't, if if you could not have any assembly and any sequence, then you could not have information. So that the sequence... You you, yeah, you don't have information the way you mean it. So just, just don't quit, quit using the word information because you and I are going to disagree on your usage of that word because you're not using it correctly. I mean, you don't have to disagree with me. You would have to disagree with the biologists. Well, no, I, I, no, when, you, when, when a biologist know? says information, I agree that what they're talking about is what is conveyed or represented by an arrangement or sequence of things, and that is not how you're using that word. You're using that word to mean facts provided or learned about something, right? You're using the same word completely different from the way biologists do. So I agree with biologists. I don't agree with your usage. I am not using descriptive uh, information. I am using prescriptive information. The meaning of prescriptive means that the sequence of a nucleotide stored in DNA prescribes the sequence of amino acids which require to be just right to have a specific Probably. Yes. Chem chemicals doing chemical stuff. We've already said, I agree, chemicals do chemical things, but you still haven't proven that any of that is a result of a God. You claim randomness. I said, I pointed out that the odds of that happening are apparently one because they did, and the odds against something happening, no matter how great the odds, doesn't mean that there's an intelligence behind the, the event happening. So what next? Well, if the, the odds are beyond what the universe in 14 billion years is possible to convey. I, I don't care about what the odds are because they don't prove anything. The odds don't prove that somebody guided it. 
Well, I think if you have two options on the table, Jim, one is intelligence and the other is not. Uh, so how do you know those are the only two options on the... Uh, it, it's not random. That's my point. It is not random. It, right. It's all based on quantum mechanics. Quantum mechanics is, uh, informs physics. Physics informs chemistry. Chemis chemicals doing chemical things. None of that is random. Right, he's saying... Quantum mechanics would dictate the sequence of the nucleotides, then you could not, then, then they, they would be constrained. Then you could only have a very specific sequence which would be dictated by quantum mechanics. That's yes, and that's exactly what we have. That's the evidence that we have right now that, the, the, that that's the evidence that we have. And you're saying that that evidence points to a God. And I'm going, where? Where's the God involved in this? It's all natural causes. Well, you keep claiming it, Jim, but the thing is that if the, the uh, possibility of uh, random uh, uh, shuffling is beyond what the universe in 14 billion years is capable of doing, then it's... You see, you see, the, 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 prob the, problem is, the, the problem is that you're assuming that all possible events are equally probable, and you, have not, and you can't demonstrate that. You can't demonstrate that all events are, are, are probable, right? So, for instance, if I've got a six-sided dice and it's weighted correctly, each side of the dice has an equal opportunity to come up. But if I weight that dice, then all of a sudden, more often, a six will come up or whatever I weighted it to. And so you can't assume that all options are equally valid or, or have the exact same possibility of happening. We don't know that. There's no way to show that. So the odds of the speed of light being what it are, we can, you can calculate that somehow. Maybe. I don't know how. But that doesn't mean that all those probabilities, all those possibilities are equally weighted. We just don't know that. So again, I don't care what the odds are because they don't prove anything because we don't know enough about this universe, much less how other universes could have formed to begin to even figure out what the probability should be. It is entirely possible that with quantum mechanics, this is the only universe possible. It's entirely possible that it's not. We don't know. So again, how it, 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 the, the, the argument from uh, odds makes no headway with me and it shouldn't with you but it apparently it does so can what we, do you got yeah i don't think we're going to get what we're looking for with atangelo go ahead last thoughts please atangelo and make them brief yes i disagree with jim and it is um uh, known well known by uh, by all signs that dna stores instructional assembly information to make proteins this we already I already granted you that. Likely to be formed by ungu unguided random events, therefore intelligence. Yeah, Jim. Jim, yeah, I think. Thank you so much. We, we, we covered it. Move on. Yeah, done. Okay. Done and dusted. Uh, I never want to take another Atangelo call for the rest of my life. I yeah, think that we had, we, at the time we took it, we didn't have that many theists. So if you, nobody else wants to hear an Atangelo call, keep the theist calling. That's right. That's right. <laughs>